Jeez. Well, anyway, I'll just shatter my spine. To wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going out, going to bed. Fuck. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> Let's make a deal. <laughs> Let's make a deal. This is how we Mandel's there all yeah. of a sudden. He's like, I heard you're making a deal. I'm here. <laughs> You've summoned me. Does anybody else think Anthony Mandel's just a genie in disguise? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, he looks like a genie. He acts like a genie. He's like weirdly clean all the time. He doesn't want to touch people. And he's like always like doing these shows where he's like giving people like stuff they want. Yeah. Uh, he's a fucking genie. Yeah. <laughs> he's just hoping someone wishes for him to be free. <laughs> like, yeah. Howie, I wish that you go free. For realsies? <laughs> I don't have to be bound by this mortal law anymore? Yes. Be free. And he just goes on like a Disney vacation. He, he, he reaches into his pocket and he just throws a lamp. <laughs> yeah, he just shatters like a glass lamp up against a wall. Yeah. And a bunch of purple smoke comes out. His skin turns like blue. Yeah. <laughs> or like red or something. And he's just like, finally, I can enslave all the human race. <laughs> finally. You Sleep. humans, it's always me, me, me. I guess so, huh? <laughs> maybe you can wake me up in the morning. Howie Mandel's a genie. You're doing it again. He is a fucking genie. But I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Uh, Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we start share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Uh, and then her, she reads her poem. Mm-hmm. And it's I like, I'll be there for you. <laughs> there for you. Yeah, same. I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to re- retrieve her poem. Oh. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? No. Uh, well, it's not so much a poem as it was like 20 words in it's a, it's a, it's a It's a weird stream of consciousness sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's real high concept, I went so on, I guess it is a poem. I went yeah. on each of your Facebooks and just found words that you use a lot. Just control <laughs> yeah. F the most po- like common word you yeah. use, and then I just put them in all in a poem. <laughs> um, I don't, they don't mean anything. <laughs> My realization that I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. Oh, embarrassed. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Oh. So, <laughs> so I used machine learning to help me. We can use machine learning to learn anything. Like, what these boys will like. What these what boys will like. What videos should have money on them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which videos should have money? Why do you find someone to share with? <laughs> I can't wait. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull, pull out their poems. Sayori they both is... start shouting them as loud as they can as the sky grows dark and the, the ground starts to crack. And <laughs> eternal the, dragon grant my the, wish. The eternal dragon erupts from their poems. And as it erupts... They say, I wish Howie Mandel was free. And, <laughs> and then Howie Mandel, towering over the city, <laughs> takes the Eternal Dragon and swallows him whole and says, I am now complete. <laughs> now you will all play my game. <laughs> so he's on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf from his spiral notebook. On the other hand, deal Monica or no deal, human race. <laughs> <laughs> on the other hand, Monica wrote his in a composition notebook. I can oh, already fuck. see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Uh, who should I show my poem to first? Well, which one was the one? I uh, was it for was... Sayori. Okay, I never forgot all their names. I'm definitely most comfortable sharing it with Sayori first. Uh, He's my good friend after all. Sayori, and nothing more. Here's all the <laughs> things that I like. Do you like me back? I mean, uh, do you like it? Damn Shit, it. stupid. Stupid. I'm so <laughs> fucking stupid. I'm so fucking awkward. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Start farting this is and so bleeding. good. <laughs> eh? I love it. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Oh, fuck. Sarah, you've always had shit taste. (laughs) You've always hated it. I'm actually really garbage, so... So it's great that you like this, because I'm trash. It just kind of is a reflection of your shit taste, though, so... (laughs) So you should really just get a better deck. Yeah. 
I mean, you don't even have the power to face a duelist of my caliber. <laughs> so you must be seriously overreacting. <laughs> I was like, what was it? Fucking like, like, uh, that, like, uh, Yu Gi Oh! Fucking, like, there's like a duel where they had the Egyptian god cards. If anybody watches what the fuck that shit is, like, they fucking, like, it's like the big you win card. And, like, Kai was about to summon it. Outside of the five cards that are actually the yeah, you win Yeah, card. outside of those ones. There was a couple of those they did, like, every couple seasons. But, like, that that was the thing for that one. And then Yugi just does a fucking counter, like, a regular-ass card that just makes it so you can't summon anything. Like, it just destroys the card you summon. <laughs> and it works on it because it still follows the actual rules. You just and Kai was just, hole the Egyptian Yeah, guy. Kai was just fucking brain is broken by that. He's like, bullshit. I mean, why, why wouldn't you think of that? Though? I know, yeah. why would you think no one would try that, you fucking idiot? Yeah. He's like, this card is such a strong card. Well, it's like so the... rare, it's unique. Well, no like... pathetic common card could defeat it. Ah, shit, the I... game has rules. Yeah, Fuck. I forgot, <laughs> the rules can stop me from breaking the rules. <laughs> Screw the rules, etc. Yes. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well... Maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. Ha 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 ha. Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. Are you sure oh, you yeah, don't like Natsuki. it just because I wrote it? Eh. Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? Yes. So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a <laughs> We don't call you by your name because you're always on your phone, so we just call him. <laughs> yeah. We never learned it, but you're always just looking at your phone, so. <laughs> and just saying rude things to us, but we love you anyway. That makes it extra special. Like, I can feel your feelings. I can feel that there are feelings. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest like a creep. Oh, You're so man. weird, Sayori. You are real weird, Sayori. <laughs> I'm really happy you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you've been a part of the, You really are a part of the club now. Now respect. you must give us blood. <laughs> yeah. Here's Same. your target. Bring the body here. And they're standing in front of you in the club. Yeah, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. It doesn't. See? See? It's like I said before. <laughs> Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people? That's something you that only really good people do. Yeah. Thanks, Sayori. Uh, I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. I'm here to get my dick wet, Sayori. Uh, Sayori, I didn't come here just to fucking read <laughs> shitty poems and eat cupcakes. I'm here to smash, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I've been Bruce Banner for long enough. <laughs> it's time to smash! <laughs> I, I imagine you have the Bobcat Goldblade voice. Yeah. Like, hey, it's just, I said that it's time to smash! His voice is really funny by itself. He can say anything that makes me laugh at it. <laughs> I can't deny that she's part of the reason I do Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That'll be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay. Yay. Now you'll read my oh, poem yeah. too, right? Don't worry. I'm really never. bad at this. I will yeah. never read your poem. We'll see about that. The rose is Dear red, violets are blue. I watched you last night taking a poo. <laughs> Illegal. <laughs> <laughs> I had my drone. Okay, so, Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning. It makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. Uh, Make. Sorry, I'm just making sense. <laughs> I've had just about enough of you right now! I'm, so, I'm sorry, I thought I just had to let that out. Uh, <laughs> oh, what was I even doing? I don't remember. Uh, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. Uh, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Uh, are you asking me to come out and play? Are you, are you trusting me? Wish away a rainy day. I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. Oh shit! If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Sweet. So that's very sinister. There. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Ugh. Oh no. I 
I could sleep forever. Sorry. This is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just a little bit? You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least it makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Aw, oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to say it, that as if it were a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Just to say something yeah. you would make. <laughs> something a little dweeb like you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Cabba, here I go. It's Joey time. <laughs> I'm <a> Joey. <laughs> My name is Joey. <laughs> My name is Joey. My name is Joey. I'm a I'm a doobie. My name is Joey. And my name is Joey. Yeah, my name's Joey. I carry a wooden spoon. <laughs> yeah. Your what? Your red eye sucks. It really, really it sucks. sucks. I made eggs and toast. <laughs> Even though we were late to school. <laughs> red eyes black bad dragon. Bad breakfast. Time wizard. Get all cake. Time wizard sucks. It really, really <laughs> sucks. Uh, time wizard. Dazzy dragon sucks. Anyway, <laughs> because there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> yeah, just the most like sinister, fucking scary this was man. So there. much fun. Monica's the best. Oh, yeah. yeah. But next time I won't forget. I'm not gonna forget. I'll never forget this. I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. All right, now it's ski. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. Oh, shut up, bitch. It's a little blunt. Yeah, hey, we'll roll this shit, me. smoke this shit. It's not like I said it was bad. I just, it just didn't evoke it, invoke any emotions. Oh, gosh, shut up. Basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. If you want to get back the fuck up before you get smacked the fuck up. I ain't Do you want to get smacked? I ain't, you ain't even worthy. I'm going to let my homies <laughs> ride on you. You see it? I, <laughs> I, I just wanted to have, like, the whole Tupac monologue. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Just, just, like, replace all the text with just, like, the fucking... When you see them, they run. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it used to be just a beat between me and Biggie until everyone on the East Coast had to come in with an opinion. So take this. Fuck, fuck Biggie. Fuck Big bad boy records as a as a crew of, no as a as a record label and as a motherfucking crew. <laughs> Let's side till we die. Damn. <laughs> Damn, Pac. That is some cold get shit. Smack. I'll pass. Sigh. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, what? Uh, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about a damn. Oh, I get it. I, okay. Yeah. yeah, she's like, okay, so I get her like her, her deal a little bit. What's that? The people can try thing, like she's like fucking, I don't remember, I don't know what the fuck that's called, but like she's like, like she's definitely showing signs, she's like... She feels like she's fucking like trying too much or something. Like she just like, she doesn't feel like she's doing enough. Like, oh she's, like, yeah, anxiety or something. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I get um, you. Um, like she's got like a like a perfection complex or something. Okay. Yeah. Because like all these animals have these things they can do, but people can just try. There's not like an absolute thing they can do. It's yeah. just like that. Yeah, that's I get it. I get you. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I told you you weren't gonna like it. I do. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of the poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style would make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. You know so much about eagles can fly. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided to write about it. <laughs> yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. 
like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. Oh, on purpose, yeah. You are subverting my expectations, you are too strong for me! In the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. What? No. Glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, dweeb. But if Nazi <laughs> is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from Nothing her. makes me feel more powerful than defeating actual children at a game made for children <laughs> as an adult male. <laughs> who owns a company and has extreme responsibilities. <laughs> that is like feeling your soul and your hopes and dreams be crushed under the weight of my money. <laughs> Alright, alright, Yuri. Let's get through this. Oh, uh, mm. I hope hers is really cool, because she's probably got a cool one. Yeah, yeah. A minute passes more than enough time for her to finish reading. Uh, oh! Uh, so, sorry, I forgot to start speaking. Uh, um, start it's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not! I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Er, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be... I'm oh, sorry. Uh, I guess that it might be after reading through it. Yeah. Ah, so is that bad? No! Did I just raise my voice? No, oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Uh, Yuri blushes her hand... Blushes her hands. And blush. <laughs> I blush my, her hands. My hands, hands start erupting from my cheeks as uh, I blush my hands out my yeah, face. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Don't those, look at my face fingers. Those two glasses can't come fast enough. God damn it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, just, I'm just thinking about how... No, like, it's like, it actually it. is, like, that bad. Oh, shit. That, like, it's actually hard to read things from yeah. this distance. Um, and it's not even that much of a distance. It's like... It's like... One and a half meter away from my face. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's, I mean, this screen is kind of like kind of far away. Like when we were like, when the screen is like small. Yeah. On the screen. But, but like, it. My astigmatism is putting like letters, and I'm just kind of making different things out of what those words are. Oh God, damn! I couldn't help but notice it's been several minutes, and we really haven't gotten anywhere. Ooh. Might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Alright, um... It's just that these are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. And I think most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their own stuff, make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter that they f form fit the two together. And the end result is both the style and expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought as if it is <clears throat> as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. You know I'm I do that. Yeah. I think most a lot of people do. Yeah. Of course. I that, mean like it's like just being confident in something. I mean like that that could or couldn't be like a sign of something, because like like I think anyone's like that. Like if you don't if you're not confident in what the fuck you're doing, you're just gonna like be weird and embarrassed and like an like anxious and shit, but yeah. then like you know what the fuck you're talking about, then you'll be like, well, fuck you, I know what this is. But there are some things I am like I do know what I, it is, but like putting it into words is really difficult. Like explaining it can yeah. be kind of. I mean, I mean, oh, like public speaking, like yeah, lessons can help. Or like tutorializing stuff. Yeah. For people. Because, like, cause that's just, like, sometimes just increasing vocabulary or just taking public speaking lessons can just help with that. Yeah. yeah. Um, there are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that every... Sorry. I also hope that every... Been my he was, uh, on he was moving the, uh... The guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's just getting Randy out of like, here. Yeah. No, leave him here. We're not done. <laughs> it is complete. <laughs> we haven't completed our Randy like Frankenstein. Gives <laughs> 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 you valuable. Speech. Would that just be a zombie if you used the one guy and all the parts <laughs> yeah. of the one guy would just be a zombie? I don't know. Well, um, 
Because like a Frankenstein's monster. You, you take like, the, do you take it apart and put it back together? I guess not. I mean, it's all still the same shit. Because then it's because then it, then it's definitely probably a zombie. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, bias, <laughs> bias, bias. where is the line drawn in a Frankenstein <laughs> well, monster and a never zombie? Mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry, it's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or for or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought and process behind it. Oh. Yuri smiles dreamily, as oh. if it's the rare opportunity for her. I hope it's read one fish, two fish. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, this is supposed to be a literature club. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow, she reads it. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Glow bathing. Uh, it must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last... Uh, the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm, breathing air, the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Uh, yeah, okay. It's pretty poetic. I'm sorry to have such terrible handwriting. Yeah. Oh, you yeah, that was terrible? You mean, like, <laughs> that looks like fucking verse of cursive? Like, you, you called your beat? <laughs> just because I can't read it? It's, I, yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's not your handwriting, it's just your choice of script is fucking retarded, and I hate yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Use was, real letters, you fuck! <laughs> Those are real letters. No! <laughs> that took you a they long time real to read. Real letters. That's normal uh, English. Well, I just don't read script very often. Normal yeah. English is weird and I actually think your handwriting's shit. pretty. Eh. Denier that's a really more easy to get. I wonder if that's actually a thing. Like, they time how long you read that. Oh. Maybe they do. I mean, uh, I wonder if that's, like... That'd be, that'd be cool. Maybe, maybe but I, if you just mash the button, maybe she's like, Did you even read that? Did you ever fucking Some read this shit? You yeah. fucking went so fast. Even though it's short, I, it's really descriptive. Wasn't it? It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. It's not gonna be like some crazy shit about my Bible Are you Black into Club. Ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Do you like gladiators, Yuri? <laughs> yeah. I think it's time in our relationship for me to bring this out. Do you like Gladiator, <laughs> the movie with Russell Crowe? Because that's the only movie I've seen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, that was from Airplane. Oh, was it? Like, oh, like, fuck. The kid gets into the cockpit, and the oh, guy's just like, yeah. Hey, kid. <laughs> like, movies about Gladiator. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, you know, okay, I do remember that. Monster. I yeah. totally forgot about that. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all. <laughs> really? You must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it, after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences into their work. Or well, usually do more everybody. than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought about that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well... It makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that sh that blah, it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Counting on you. I'm fucking counting. All right. Afterthought. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah. She wasn't even in the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. She's not one of the ones. She's not having a good time so far. Oh. That's <laughs> like you can't, you, can't, you can't date Monica. So who seriously gives a fuck? <laughs> I can't add you, you to can't my women. Someone, to date at some point. hardly a person. Right? <laughs> yeah. That's like the only qualifier to a people. <laughs> so they're called a people, like a, like a gaggle. Uh, yeah, <laughs> a murder of people. A murder of people. 